Well, hi again, folks. Uh, down at the coffin today. Bell's Garth. Bell's Garth. And uh, tonight's choice of cigars is uh, Syria P1 from the Jar. Yeah, it's not like Jar. Um, I'm not sure how many releases I've had been at this one. I think uh, it's been around three releases. Three uh, individual three. releases. Don't know what that means. Okay. Three releases, or maybe just three boxes of three cigars, <laughs> who knows, but um, probably three releases now. Some of you may, out there might know, um, and perhaps if you can just let us know what all that's about, that'd be fine. But um, anyway, we've got this one. Um, I guess it's from my mate Steve here. For more. Mm -hmm. Bought so, it last year. Bought it last year. Uh, I think it wasn't long after they were released. Uh, Beautiful, as Billy was saying, beautiful ceramic jar. Came in quite a hefty cardboard box with all the part of gas, uh, black, sexy black and red. Uh, what are you doing? I've got my sexy black. Oh, let's not go there either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, just to match. But uh, no, the ceramic jar is absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I will. Bang on a picture of that. In fact, I might just put it on at the beginning. Under the other jar. Near the underwear. Just the jar. You wouldn't like me in my black and red underwear. But let's get back to the more important thing the cigar. What are you thinking, Bill? Just on the fall. It's a mixture between. I would mention this it's before. Barnyard and Animal Feet. Ah, okay. Barnyard, yeah. Let's come and the barnyard. You know what I'm getting is well. Not before on this one, but before on some other blog, obviously. Wow. I'm getting real strong. It's chocolate extremely, tobacco. extremely strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chocolate tobacco. It's almost it's sticky. It's it is. It, it, it's, it's sticky. Well, that's funny you should say that, because I, I mean, I think I gifted Bill's with just a couple of weeks ago, funny enough, because it was his birthday. So we, yeah. so we gifted uh, to him and took out the jar then. But, I mean, Bill's has been sitting obviously in his own uh, humidor for a wee while, but this one today he was just taken out of the jar today. And as you say, it's funny you should say that. They are, they're sticky, sticky, I can feel it. Sticky, sticky. As if somebody my, spilled I something. my fingers with the peanuts earlier, or the oh, oh, peanut yeah. puffs. But uh, I think it's just the resin. Definitely. Just, just the resin. It's definitely the cigar. I hope it, yeah, I hope, I hope it's, you know, Beautiful. at the point that it Ooh, is a good it, cigar. It's a lie, this one, I think. Yeah, I hope it's not you know going through any sick periods or anything like that. I wouldn't like that. It'd be a shame, you know. Cause it's quite a short cigar. I mean, the overall length is uh, like a uh, part of a Serie D length, obviously. But you've got your uh, tapering at the end there. Um, but really, the overall length and girth is just the same as a Serie D. Yeah, fifteen by five inches, apparently, mm -hmm. from head to the foot. foot. But we'll give we, should, we should say at this point that the, the cigar is, is uh, not only uh, that size, but I think it would be classed as a, a petite pyramid. Petite uh, pyramid, yeah. Um, not such a thing, once again, start correcting if I'm wrong. Or um, bellicosos, is that the other mm -hmm. a small bellicosos? Yeah, definitely. It, but is there a, but this seems to be smaller than a bellicosos. We'll look it up. Mind. We'll look it up. Yeah, if we'll look it up and we'll come, when we come back, yeah. we'll tell you what we think. It's, it's dark, very dark wrapper. Um, not the darkest we've seen, but it's it's uh, definitely chocolatey, chocolatey brown, isn't it? Let's get yeah. the thing clipped and we'll come Maybe back. Maybe that's okay. why it's sticky. Maybe that's why it's sticky, because it's chocolate. Well, I haven't said anything. Steve hasn't said anything. We've just bought with each other. I don't seem to get that old-fashioned. Sweeties. The tobacco sweeties used oh, to get away back yeah. in the 60s and 70s. So these strands are like almost thin spaghetti, yeah. maracino or whatever it is, yeah. you call it. Or, like, it's thin, you're more Italian. Macaroon. Ma macaroon. It was yeah. made from macaroon. Yeah, actually. macaroon, but the uh, vermicelli, that's the one. Vermicelli, yes. Vermicelli ish. But it was made to look like it's tobacco. Just in your mouth, well, I'm not sure what you yeah, yeah, but instantly, just sweetie tobacco. Perfect. Oh, you get to me, I'm just getting amazing, uh, mm. like dark chocolate. I bought that. Remember that squares of chocolate that I've got in the house. What's it called again? 
Chocolate. Chocolate. The dark, bitter chocolate. Aye, uh, 70%. I just think of chomping on a bar of chocolate. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mm. Mm. Keep the light. Mm. Well, we've got a lighted. We've got a lighted. I've left my lighter up there, so I'll maybe just have to borrow yours while I Follow your boots. kick off. As per usual. Just going to wait a moment while Steve likes his. And a wee slop of the old Taylor's port. Taylor's port tonight. We're running the belt. Okay. So, to match your suit with Taylor. Same port, same. All oh, right, a different, same tailor, different port. Yeah. Fine. There we go. Oh! <laughs> now that is an alarm. Well, excuse that was a fire alarm that day. Um, <laughs> sitting right below one here in the coffin. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense having a, a fire alarm in a, in a smoking shop, guys. Um, unfortunately, you're smoking the bloody thing goes off. A bit silly. But there you go. I haven't got a sense to turn the thing off or to get buried, but if I do that, I'll forget to put the back in again. The place will burn down by the morning. But it will be a smoking shark then. <laughs> do the burning embers? Do the burning embers, shark. <laughs> huh. Well, anyway, right away, first draw. Big. Uh, Heck of a flavours. Um, difficult to describe at the moment. It's up there in the uh, full bodied. So that's right away. It's just giving me a quick, just went straight to my head, just buzzed my head there, that first draw. Full flavour in the mouth. So a couple of draws and just, just see how we're. No. I hear what you're saying about being full body. I think it's it's it's, it's the extent it's it's, it's it's a comparison by like eating steak. Mm-hmm. Very meaty, mm-hmm. meaty cigar. Yeah. If we were eating meat, there would definitely be yeah. steak other than chicken or you know, yeah. thing, guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah it would be a steak. Very chunky cigar in the mouth, flavour wise. It's going to take a minute or two just to get settled and into this. Um, kind of knocked us for six a wee bit, isn't it? <laughs> the initial. Well, that's a minute. I prefer this uh, style of part of gas, uh, uh, not the, the, the shape, but the style of part of gas. Steve likes. Um, Generally, uh, it's cigars being in slightly spicy and oh, right, I'm with uh, you. in the mouth, and uh, yep. I prefer part of gas. Uh, generally, I the cigars I smoke in part of gas range are usually uh, smoother, smoother, not smoother, smoother, but, but, but not like clay and healthy and it's a bit spicy. I like the 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 coating in the mouth. Uh, uh, it's difficult to explain. <laughs> difficult to explain in a blog. <laughs> Crazy is that. Just exactly how it is. I mean. It's not all slightly different, but I prefer the non-spacey part of gas. I know, you, you, there tends to be a couple of different styles of part of gas, and it can be uh, the same uh, marker, it can be a Serie D4 uh, in one batch, and uh, the, the, they're healthy, flavoursome, full tobacco, uh, deep, deep mushroomy, leathery flavours, but no spice, and then Different box, same here, maybe even same factory. Uh-huh. Um, they can come out, still got the earthiness, but then at the, at the mushroominess, everything like that, and then at the end, you've got this hit of very spiciness. And I mean, as Bill said, I tend to prefer the spicier ones. In saying that, I enjoy, I enjoy both at different times. I just wish I knew, I wish I was an S on it that told me if it was spicy or if it was. Yeah, that would be clever, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be too clever. But it's, it's it's organic. It's a natural leaf. At the end of the day, you're not going to know exactly. They try and get it like as close as I don't mind any of them, but I know what you mean. But this is certainly my style of part of gas. B1. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. Beautiful. It's slightly spongy. Probably kept a very good neck for me. 
a fellow went on to garden and then a dire one. Mm -hmm. I can't say that, you, you've got to keep on it when they're really moist now. But that's, that's, that's an important thing, is it? What, moistness? No, I just, uh, I'm such a good cigar down in, in the ground. And I'm having to be light and we forget that we're going to get a cigar inside, you can't even get a form, forget about it, you've got to get home with it. Smoke away with it. The port's definitely going well with it as well. Taylor's 10 year old, Tony Port. That's uh, uh, on a previous uh, review that we did. Uh, I think it was the Shoe Le Poc. Uh, we had a port with that and some strong uh, Scottish ales, and it just overpowered the cigar. Yeah. But see this choice this time? A Hobgoblin was the beer that we had there going along. A rock and roll Hobgoblin um, with a Taylor's 10 year old yeah. port and the P1 uh, perfect match. So far, so good. Perfect match? Definitely. Mm -hmm. See you very soon. We'll just go to a quick. Pause it. Well then now. Switch it on again. Switch it on again. Money guy. Anyway guys, we, we, we didn't introduce ourselves to start with, did we? Mm. I'm Bill. And he's Steve. And the way, what is known as the two fat laddies. Well there you go. The two fat laddies. It's us. Yeah. Why not? We once had a one of cookery. Program. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> We've got my frocks confiscated, so now we're just doing cigars and whiskey and other things instead. Uh, you need a laugh, eh? I know, but I'm not sure about you, but I suppose we stay together. It just, it just reminds me when I, I fillet steak that's been blasted in the barbecue. Ah, yes. The charred. The charred. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But, you've, but, but the sweet meat is, is coming through and in this dark, Mm -hmm. Chocolate, meaty. Mm -hmm. it's, it's bitter, not bitter, but it's 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 because the sweetness is still there. No, but it's bitter. I'm totally it's totally mixed mixed with I'm totally mixed with it. Sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. Not like sweet and sour, but it's like You've bitter and sweet. Well? It's, it's difficult. Bitter and sweet, bitter and sweet, or bitter and sour. It mm -hmm. is. It's not the, It's not a sweet cigar. It is. It's got these bitter, quite a lot of bitterness to it actually. Again, which we don't mind. You can complement it with a with a cigar. Or, uh, Pardon me with a cigar, with a with a no. beer or with a uh, two, a P one and a P two, but with a port, take the sweetness out of that, complement it with that. But ah uh, oh yeah yeah, everything you were saying there. I'm almost it's, at the point of just kind of keep it out of your jobs. I just want to smoke it. Simple as that. We're probably down to half an inch to an inch. Probably still working in first third, so I'm getting excited as to where the cigar might develop. Mm -hmm. Because right now it's if it, if it doesn't do anything else, I'll be chuffed. Please, 